As always, link to the source code and video transcript in the description. Simply put, if you want static typing in Godot for your custom classes and scripts, since remember all scripts are classes in Godot, all you need to do is use the class name keyword. And using it is as simple as adding it to the top of your script using the format class underscore name and then your class name. You may also optionally pass in the path to an image to get a custom icon for the script as well by adding it after the class name and separated by a comma. In the source code for today's sample project, for instance, the rigid body 2D node representing a ball looks like this. Now, the ball class is registered in the global namespace and we can reference it anywhere else in our game. For instance, maybe we have an area 2D node that should take an action only when a ball enters it, but should ignore other types of objects. We could write our script to check the type of an object that enters it and act accordingly. You can also get code completion suggestions when a script uses the class name keyword, just like you would with a built-in type such as a vector2. For instance, the ball class has a method named do something. We can therefore get a suggestion for it when writing some code elsewhere. And since we passed in the icon parameter for our custom class, we'll see, after restarting the editor, our custom icon both in the tree and in the scene tab, making it easy to find our custom script. For a few other uses of the class name keyword, you can use it with the extends keyword to subclass your custom classes instead of referencing a specific path to a script, such as subclassing the ball class to make a blue ball class with a new icon as well. And if the icon isn't specified, the parent class icon will be used instead. You can also instance your script at runtime. The one thing to note with this method is that it only instantiates the script and not any scene the script is attached to. So for instance, you might want to use it for a utility class, but if we try to do it with our ball class, we'll just simply get a script for a rigid body and not the rigid body scene that we've been using previously. So be mindful of that. And so I've talked about the usefulness of the class name keyword, but there are two main pain points to be aware of when using it. First, as mentioned above, the class is registered in the global namespace so that it's available everywhere. This is a good thing a lot of the time, as it lets us do what it is we want it to do. The issue it brings is that every class must have a unique name across your entire application. This really isn't a problem for higher level classes, such as maybe a player, a skeleton enemy, a knight class, etc. But it can be a problem if you're doing something like a state machine, where each entity may have a state with the same name. All of the previous examples could have a move state class, for instance, but that is not allowed in the global state. You could give each state a unique name, such as a player move state, but really, that's not a situation where you need a global reference to the class anyways. And you also have to make sure that any class name you do want to use is not already in use by Godot, such as Sprite or Timer or something like that. So just think about the implications of throwing a class into the global namespace before doing it, and you'll be fine. The other pain point is cyclical dependencies, and these are the bane of every developer using Godot at some point or another. And as a simple example, let's say we have a couple of utility classes in our game that we want available globally. Polygon math for doing calculations on a given polygon, and line math for doing calculations on a given line. And perhaps they should each have a function that relies on the other, such as determining if a line intersects a polygon or vice versa. Well, if we try to reference each class in the other one, as shown here, we get this nasty error message. So what's the issue? Godot tries to load the polygon math class and sees that this class requires the line math class. So it goes to load up the line math class and then sees that it needs the polygon class. And this is where the problem comes in. It doesn't know how to load the scripts since both rely on one another and it therefore spits out the cyclic dependency error. And according to the Godot developers, this is not going to be fixed until Godot 4.0. So in the meantime, you'll just have to be mindful of how and when you use the class name keyword and occasionally just accept duct typing instead of strict typing to avoid errors. And that's it for today. Just a quick but hopefully helpful look at typing your custom classes in Godot.